Hello, I'm Trish Nolan Melfi from Private Midwives. Hi, I'm Melanie Ambrose from Private Midwives. Hi, I'm Jo Denison Bird from Private Midwives, and today we're going to give you a birth pool demonstration. So, to begin with, you will have your birth pool, you will have a liner, you will have the electric pump, you will have a hose, you need a shower curtain an electric pump to blow up the birth pool and your hose connectors. Make sure you've got enough room to blow up your birth pool for safety reasons. I need to have access all the way, all the way around the pool. If you need to move furniture to make it safe, then please do so. To protect your carpets and flooring, I'd advise using a shower curtain underneath the birth pool. So it doesn't slip, I throw an old sheet over the top of the shower curtain and then place your birth pool over the top of that. Firstly, you need to blow up the floor of the birth pool. This is going to be a li little bit noisy while this happens, so I'd suggest if you have a la labouring mother that she go upstairs or have a bath while, this, uh, while the birth pool is being inflated. Brilliant. Just make sure that the floor of the birth pool is really well inflated before you put the liner in. Once the liner is in and you've filled it with water, you won't be able to access the attachment to the birth pool floor again. So the other thing is some birth pools come with a seat. If your birth pool has a seat, you need to blow that up next. To blow up your birth pool, you will notice that it has two attachments. One larger attachment for, for deflating the pool. What you need to do is screw that in. And that will give you an access to a smaller opening that you can put your pump into to inflate the pool. be a little bit fiddly but it only takes a couple of minutes when you're ready to fill the pool attach the attachment to the hose this can be a little bit tricky it may take some fiddling to get it working properly I'd suggest having a trial run well before labour commences just to make sure that you have the right attachment for your tap. So Trish has a great idea if you if you can't get your tap adapters to work. She's using the pump that we generally use to take the water out of the pool. We're going to use it in a sink full of water to transfer water through the hose and into the birth pool. You're gonna need electricity main, fairly near, near to the sink, and the water should then transfer through the hose, and we're gonna follow that through where hopefully Melanie is filling the birth pool. Brilliant. You shouldn't need to stay with the hose by the sink because in theory, as the water pumps through the hose, the sink shouldn't fill up too much and overflow. You might want to just come back and check on it once in a while though. As you can see, the pool is filling up with water. It does take a while to do this, depending on the size of your pool, obviously. You'll also need to make sure that your water tank is turned up to high. Initially, fill the pool up with water from between about 37 degrees centigrade to about 40 degrees. And fill it to the first water mark on your liner, the minimum levels. Don't get in it at this point, no. 
So Melanie's going to show you the level to fill the birth pool up initially. That will be about the minimum level marker on your birth pool liner. For the first stage of labour, the water temperature needs to be between 36 and 37 degrees for first stage of labour. Your midwife will continually check to make sure the temperature remains stable throughout your labour. And for the birth of your baby, your the water temperature needs to be at 37 degrees. And again, your midwife will check this before your baby is born. It's unadvisable to get into the birth pool unless your midwife is with you. Plug When you want to empty the pool, plug the pump into the socket and gently lower it into the pool. The water will then get sucked in by the pump, back down the hose, and back down the kitchen sink. A little bit quicker than this is happening though. It will take about the same time to empty the pool as it did to fill it. As the pool empties, you see how Melanie is lifting the pool so that the water goes to into the end where the pump is and that will help the water drain through the pump. When you come to deflate the pool, you do it the opposite way round to inflation. So start at the top ring and inflate using the large opening. And if you can gently press the air out of the pool, that will hasten deflation.